Keeper Senior Life is really the leaders in geriatric care, and we really reach out to meet the needs of the elders along a continuum. And we do everything we can to respect independence, dignity, and choice. The Burton and Gloria Rose Career Development Program, it really came about in the desire for the organization to kind of respond to the nursing shortage. With that, they felt like we needed to grow our own, so to speak. So initially, the program came from the concept of creating an LPN program. So it was a natural fit for us to partner with Jewish Vocational Services. And with that, they provided the classes of math and English and reading so that our employees could get the prep work they needed to be successful in the college placement test. For them to know that their lifestyle changes in a complete uh, full circle and it's a ripple effect. They know a lot of times they're doing it for themselves first that shows values to their children and to their family. It raises their salary that they can have a different lifestyle and they're pursuing something that maybe they never would have had the opportunity to say they can. By having these people actually move up and be able to take on a different role, we as an organization completely, completely are rewarded with that experience. Um, we don't have to worry that the people taking care of our, our elders have heart. We already know that they do. We're merely just giving additional skills so that they can do roles and responsibilities that also provide for them to have an opportunity for a different life. I decided to enroll because I was already interested in being a nurse. The opportunity actually just kind of fell into place. I enjoyed my time in the program. It benefited me in so many ways. It was really getting her focused on what she could manage as far as what she had on her plate. Being a mother of three and having responsibilities at the home front, um, she was also trying to maintain the very intense workload. The program now has made her an LPN, which changes her whole lifestyle, and which was really important, the value of education to set an example for her children completing something, having my children out there watching me as mom, you know. She's finishing things, you know, maybe she didn't finish it earlier in life, but she's not letting that stop her. C is so sharp and very sensitive about, like, giving medication and treatment to the residents. The best thing about my job is the reward that I get from seeing that I made a difference and so many lives. Her dedication to the nursing program, her lead leadership skills, her communications to the supervisors and to the nursing superiors makes her an all-star. Whenever you feel like the road, the stumbling block in front of you is just too much, the hurdle, this mountain is too high, just, you know, keep pressing on, you know, don't give up. I'm Glenn Stern. I am the director in the Center of Cancer Systems Biology at St. Elizabeth's Medical Center. The best part of my job is just doing something that is really very meaningful. It's, it's figuring out how cancer works and that's very meaningful for me. My situation was that my position had been eliminated and I was um, looking around for other resources to try to see, to try to open doors for me. I initially uh, found out about career moves at JVS um, through my temple group, which had its own career group called TBS Cares. There was a person named Debbie Lipset that joined the group and she talked a little bit about JVS and it sounded like a great organization, so I pursued it. It was his thoughtfulness, I think, that really struck me and then his ability to shift over to helping others and not kind of being consumed with himself. When I got the job, I just felt so thankful to be getting it. And I was walking home from a JVS job club meeting. I was thinking about, you know, next steps. And then I got the phone call and I just said, whoa, I can, don't have to do any of that stuff anymore. <laughs> I think JVS was really helped me stay on track, stay focused, um, remain hopeful. I also want to remain active with JVS because they gave me so much. and. Um, I want to give back. Sometimes it's hard to go ahead and ask for help from either a person or an organization. I think that it's well worth taking the risk and you have nothing to lose to try to, um, to, try to take advantage of any opportunity that you can. The program really emerged out of um, our sense of community and our sense of connectedness, interconnectedness within our congregation. That about a year and a half, 
we realized that things were not as they normally are with the economy and that there were many, many members of our congregation, um, individually as well as collectively, who were, who were struggling. We sought to create a partnership with JVS and really to create a program within the congregational community that would help members connect with each other so that we would be able to support each other, help each other in a variety of different ways. TBS Cares is an initiative that uh, we've developed here to assist people who are in the job search process. TBS Cares offers one-on-one -on -one job assistance counseling. We have a website which has a lot of basic information on job search issues and questions. So those are the things that we've done. We had a lot of people who thought about their career, but they really didn't know how to take those first few steps and go after a job. Um, so that was a big focus. And we also had a lot of people who had been working in jobs for 20 years, found themselves out of work. They didn't know the new techniques of looking for jobs. So that was probably our most effective way of, of helping people. Job clubs are groups of professionals who come together to share ideas, strategies, connections, and everyone is encouraged to help each other. People walk away feeling empowered um, that they were able to help somebody else, and at the same time, they often walk away with concrete ideas and goals that they're gonna use for the week to come. People feel a sense of connection and then people want to be able to then give back and to reach out and to help each other. So there's a real dynamic relationship that takes place that as we give, we receive, as we receive, we give, and we create a community that is truly, truly vibrant, that extends not only to the times of blessing and joy, which we certainly share and experience, but also to the times that are, that are difficult and hard and to help us make our way through those times.